All right, um, <clears throat> extract CAD. First thing you want to do is go in your options, figure out your layout room size, and uh, your scale and gauge that you're going to be modeling in. I'm O scale, N and two and a half, which is O and thirty. Okay, so you set your layout room, your sizes and stuff. This is in inches. I got 320 by 324 inches. Click OK. Now, <clears throat> this is your map of the area you're working in. If you go view, zoom, let's go to 24.1. Now, you see this map here? Now, I like to work in, uh, in, I like to see the track when I'm laying it to see that it's locking together the way it should go. So what I'll do is work in like four to one, maybe six to one. Let's see. All right, we'll try six to one. Let's start over in the corner here. We're gonna pull a piece of track down, and there's a piece of track. Now, if you let go, it doesn't do anything. If you go like that, and then you think you're gonna say another piece of track, it disappears. What you do is pull a piece of track down, put it where you want it, hit enter. Now it's there, see? Now, come over here to this uh, modify button, click on it, click on your track, modify it there. You always have to do this too, you can use the uh, quick shortcuts, the keyboard shortcuts. Okay, now, <clears throat> we got a section of track there. Oh, you, you probably have to set up your perimeter files too. I went in and put in perimeter files for Pico 0 and 30 and Proto AM. I think this is so I could drive trains, the Proto AM XTP. I'll show you how that works too. Um, this is pretty cool now. You go here, this is uh, parallel track. And you can click on either this side of the track or this side of the track. And it'll put, see that? Now, if you look here, I've got parallel track on each one. Now, extend this track out. I set that switch, and I don't want it there. I'm going to select, click on it, and then delete it. Don't even want it there. Okay. All right, we're going to set, we're going to start by just using a piece of this track here, kind of like flex track, and we're going to go, send it on down the line there. Now, we, it's not long enough, so what we're going to do is extend it with this modify button here. Click on it like so. Alright, now I'm going to go here. This is parallel, tr parallel track. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click right here. Now see, it put a track next to the other one and did it the whole length. Alright. We're going to take a switch. We're going to bring a switch down. Move it to where we want. Say right there. Hit enter. Now we're going to take modify button. We're going to modify this switch, extend it out to where it comes up just to where it's close to this other track. And we're going to take another left hand switch. We're going to place it right here. And it's facing the wrong way. So we're going to shift, click, shift, click again. There it is. It will lock into place. There it is. It locked into place right there. Hit let go of it. Hit enter. And now you've just made a crossover. <clears throat> now, you can do the same thing here. You can extend these tracks. Use the modify button. You can use uh, your keys, and I'm not messing with it right now, so I can't show you how to do that. Now this one here will be a right-hand turnout. Place it here. 
There we go. Move it to where we want it. Hit enter. All right, now extend this track out. Let's shorten this track up a little bit because I think What we can do here is uh, join, let's see, connect two tracks, join two tracks. Let's see if that works. There you go. So now we just did a, we got a switch cross over there and down here, this one, it's more of a curve. That one looks more like it's two, two, uh, two switches so you get a straight track there. Down here it automatically made us a curve. And under uh, under layout, uh, under options preferences, you set different items on here. You know, one of the more important ones is your minimum track radius. Okay, you set that um, when you set your stuff up. And then if you make something too sharp, it's going to not let you do it. It'll give you a... Well, I can show you here what it'll do if you make too sharp of a corner. Go up here to curve track and we just do a little one here. It turns red. It's telling you that it's too much. Edit. Undo. Alright. Now if you want to do a curve, click on the curve track. There's three ways to do a curve, but this is the way I do them. Go like this. You take that arrow Pull it down where you want it and let go. Now sometimes these aren't lined up. What I do is I'll come down here. Let's go up to train driver. First thing you gotta do is add a train. Check the uh, manufacturer. Let's see here. Add right there add so now we got a uh, diesel locomotive close so on my car inventory I just added a, a diesel locomotive let's see if that'll work now there it is bring it down set it on the track click this red button turns track power on come over here click forward Okay, reverse. Never know which way a train's running. Now, click follow, and it'll follow your train. It won't go now because the sh track wasn't set, the tr point wasn't set right. Okay, and see how it stopped right there at that? it's going to stop right there it's because it's hitting that section right there that track is not together okay so we'll go up here exit <clears throat> and we're going to go connect two tracks and I think you should click on the track here first and then here it moved this track and didn't move this track I think that that's probably a design thing I'm not sure let's go back to running train and hit the button it's green now throttle it came to a stop reverse so the nice thing about this is you can run trains on your track now I'm going to click auto reverse and this will um, <coughs> this will keep us running and let me know once it gets down there it's going to come back and I'm going to try and switch this track I didn't get it soon enough as soon as he goes by I don't know if I switched it in time or not no nope. let's slow her down Okay, we switch that one. 
I see the other switch isn't set right. <clears throat> I'm using shift left click to uh, do the switches. There we go. Now we're on the other track. Okay, so there's the first little train set. Okay, now this is kind of cool. What I'm going to do now is replace a turntable. I'm going to go add turntable and I'm going to click it right there and then I'm going to move it. I'm going to go select, click the turntable and then move I'm going to line it up where I think it should go. Probably right there. How do you get your tracks off from this? Click your modify or extend button. Come down where you want your track and look at this. Uh, normally one would run straight through um, click modify again and there is over here it'll tell you your angles down there uh, right there next to that see it tells you your angles track length so that's a fast way to do a turntable, okay?